I've been wanting to talk about this for a while because there's a lot of people that don't even know that aromatherapy is a field that exists and others who have a big misunderstanding of what it is. First and foremost, an aromatherapist, if you break that down, it is a person who does therapy with aromas. So in the United States, aromatherapists are certified. You actually have to go through a proper training with an approved school and you have to do case studies before you can be certified in one of three levels of aromatherapy. Conversely, aromatherapists are not MLM essential oil reps. This is the most common response that I get when I tell somebody that I'm an aromatherapist. Oh, you sell essential oils. No, I don't. I help support people's health through custom blends and consultations. And I happen to be a certified holistic aromatherapist. So I bring other modalities into my practice, including herbalism, sound, energy medicine, and more. An aromatherapist will empower you to advocate for your own health, to understand your own health condition, and to support it through the use of essential oils and other aromatics. Aromatherapists do not diagnose, treat, or cure any diseases. They are very good at helping people cope with chronic conditions, though, and emotional disruption. And most of us don't focus on the sale of essential oils. Myself, I do individual consultations, and I also focus heavily on education because I know so many of you want to use the oils, but you want to do it safely and you want to do it in an informed way. Other aromatherapists are actually formulators. And some are actually doing the peer-reviewed research and writing about that in journals. Aromatherapy is not covered by insurance, but it is a worthy investment in your holistic health journey. And a good aromatherapist is going to be able to not just intellectually tune into what you might have going on, but also intuitively tune into what you might have going on and listen to you well so that you feel understood and so that you together can work on what your particular concerns are. An aromatherapist is not going to be throwing essential oil parties, usually. Aromatherapists actually have to hold to a certain standard of practice. There are certain things that we can do and that we cannot do. We, for instance, cannot recommend unsafe use of essential oils. And we do have a scope of practice that we need to stay in, just like many other modalities. We have accountability through our main governing bodies, the National Association of Holistic Aromatherapy and the Alliance of International Aromatherapists. If you've worked with an aromatherapist before, I would love for you to comment about what your experience was like. And if you want to work with me, there's Binks in my Lyle.